let's welcome Julian McCullough, Morgan Murphy, Brittany Furlong, and an actual child. Welcome to Baby Talk, everybody. We're here at the Great Escape Club in Los Angeles. Your host, father and comedian, Dan Levy. All right. Welcome to Baby Talk, a show where comedians collide with a species just as emotionally undeveloped as they are, children. <laughs> We're just like kids say the darndest things, but without the quaaludes. <laughs> And in 30 years, the only weird stuff you can find out about me is that I spent too much money on Air Jordans. <laughs> and I masturbated to that movie Wild Things. But that was just like once. <laughs> Speaking of Wild Things, say hello to Jensen Carr. <laughs> Jensen, how are you feeling? I'm well. You look like your bar mitzvah theme was in living color. <laughs> <laughs> it's unbelievable what you look like. All righty then. Now we've been doing the show. Uh, we've taped some of these shows. It's been yeah. going really well. You're feeling more comfortable with children? No. Not at all? Uh, no, not at all. Uh, I feel actually less comfortable with children. Having kids, I will say, like the, big, the biggest thing about having kids is you're dealing with holidays like all the time. You know, the big ones, Hanukkah. Yeah. And the other one, Halloween, the, the double H's. <laughs> And with, uh, with Halloween, it's kind of funny because when I was younger, I remember just being like, oh my God, Halloween. I it was a, be a huge monster. Deal, yeah. huge you know? Deal, yeah. I know. Huge and then deal. you get like our age, and it's like, oh, it's Halloween. Look, it's a monster whore. Like, that's just kind of what happens. <laughs> yeah, there's only two options at this point. You're either terrifying or totally sexy. Exactly. But when I was a kid, it was a huge deal. My mother would slave over my Halloween costume for, I think, months. Like, she would make it from scratch, she would basically sew it. But the thing is, is she'd make them very feminine. Which is fine, but like I think she wanted a daughter, and it came out mostly at Halloween, and I brought a picture of one. If you guys, this was me as Peter Pan, if you guys could bring it up. Okay. Uh, so, as you can see, uh, all felt and leotard. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I was basically Kermit the Frog. Uh, and so that's it, yeah, that's mine. Now, your mom made you that costume, but you were definitely in charge of that pose. Just like, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. Jensen, I'm Peter Pan. Yeah. Not I'm a lot, boy. Yeah. That was my biggest decision, was the pose in this. Also, the seat belt my mother gave me as a belt. Those are the things I had to decide on. But I'm actually jealous because when I was younger, my mom did not spend a lot of time in my costume. It was sort of like a last minute thing. She would kind of like put together and like just like, go, trick or treat. And I have a picture of me as a young boy. Also, this, <laughs> this costume is very confusing. This is so insane. I, I didn't know you were raised in foster care. Uh, this, is, <laughs> this is so crazy. You're wearing a Freddy Krueger glove. You're holding a trophy, which has to be for worst costume ever. Uh, this guitar, there is no connection between anything you're wearing. But I also have a medal, so I have a trophy for, for worst costume and a medal for best costume. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this is just horrendous. You look terrible. Here's what happened. I got older. Yeah. I became a man. I started shopping like and wearing clothes like this. And Halloween came around and I still apparently was not really planned out. And I have a picture from my Halloween last year. If you want to check it out. Again, similar. I, this is baffling. You wore it twice. And by the way, your medal got bigger as if it's a better job. It's, it's just as bad. This is terrible. Oh. You're honestly you're giving a terrible example to your child. <laughs> but I went from guitar to base, because I kind of figured out that, okay, but I'm shitty, I'm gonna be like this. Coincidentally, though, you stayed homeless. I did stay homeless. Yeah. The most upset about this picture, the cow. Yeah. That's for sure. The cow is purely judging you. All right, guys. <laughs> you are kind of laughing at this. <laughs> so when we come back, we're gonna sit down with three comedians who you will also be laughing at. <laughs> Today's show is brought to you by Fracture. It's an amazing service that takes your photos and prints them in vivid color directly to glass. It's been described as HDTV for your photos, and I agree. See, listen, colors pop from the photos. They get vivid, it's just right off the glass, and it's ready to mount right out of the package. You just put a screw on it, put it on a wall, and it is ready for people to see. It's all really affordable too, with prices starting at $15 for a small square size. And they make fantastic gifts for family and friends. All you gotta do is take that picture from Christmas, we're all around the Christmas tree, put it on glass through Fracture, and it's a beautiful gift that your grandparents will love. Dive into all those photos collecting virtual dust in your computer or camera roll, and pick a few to have out on display. Go to FractureMe.com, it's F-R-A-C-T-U-R-E-Me.com, and you can get 15% off your first order with the code BABY, and that's because of us. Big thanks to Fracture for supporting the show. And remember, when, when you have a Fracture, just like, Tweet it to me or something. I enjoy that stuff. I'm a person. Are you two years old? Yes. 
Are you potty trained? No. Do you think that Lily Sobieski could ever find herself back in Hollywood's spotlight? Yes. Do you support the nationwide legalization of marijuana? No. Are you high right now? Yes. Welcome back to Baby Talk. My guest today, Morgan Murphy. <laughs> Julian McCullough. <laughs> Brittany Furlong. <laughs> Thanks for being here, guys. I wore shorts. You're, you're, you're welcome. welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Julian, you're wearing shorts, you don't give a fuck. I forgot <laughs> I was doing this. <laughs> <laughs> he ran here, so I think yeah. Um, Morgan, I have a question for you. As a kid, what was the kind of trouble you would get? And you seem like you might have been a little bit of a troublemaker growing up. Uh, yeah, I, I, I would get in trouble for uh, like flooding bathrooms and stuff like that. Like where, you know. Wait, on purpose or an accident? That's no, on purpose, difference. but it was always because I wanted to be, I wanted the, the bad kids to think I was cool, so I went along with their plans very easily, you know? So oh, you're talking about school. Yeah. I thought you were just in your house. You're like, I'm gonna flood the house. <laughs> ha ha, mom. <laughs> Uh, no, at school I would like, uh, like you know, a, a bad, I was a good kid. Like the wet bandits from Home Alone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Let's go flood the bathroom. And I'd be like, all right, let's do it. And then uh, somebody would come in and say, you're in trouble. And I would just start crying and say, no, I can't. Like, I wasn't good at Why? Yeah. <laughs> but did the bad kids ever like come over to be like, yeah, Morgan, you don't give a shit. No, I think I went over like, yes, we did it right. And then they didn't high five back. <laughs> Uh, Julian, what was the weirdest thing that you collected as a kid? Oh, uh, I grew up poor, so you didn't get to have more than one of one thing. <laughs> um, Julian collected food stamps. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> super I, weird collected, I collected a lot of anxiety because I thought we never had rent. <laughs> so I had a lot of that. I, I collected all. That was the first time I walked to have all of it. Um, no, I, uh, I guess the first thing I collected, uh, and this is in keeping with that premise, I had the uh, rubber uh, uh, WWF figurines. You know, they, they were like this big. They had like Hulk Hogan and Iron Sheik. Figurines? They were more action figures. Action. I call them figurettes. Because <laughs> um, you could dress them however you wanted. And, uh, Hulk, Hulk Hogan, my little figurine. Yeah. So I want to say I collected them, but I only had one. That was how many we could ha I could afford. So I just had one. Then he fought other generic toys that were like cheaper from thrift shops. <laughs> so, uh, Brittany. Hi. Hey, how's it going? Good, good. how are you? Pretty good. good. Uh, do you have any kids? Why does everyone keep asking me that? I, look, I already look like a mother or something. I'm like a peyote t-shirt. Like, is that normal for moms? Is that like a In thing? In certain tribes. Well, she, yeah. Yeah, she, yeah. I didn't know there was anything written on your I t-shirt. I literally got asked. <laughs> yeah, right. Sure, Dan. Oh my God. Sure, Dan. Yeah. Sure. Come on. As far as I'm concerned, yeah. when they introduced her to me, they were like, yeah. and this is peyote. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you. Is it Look like I'm breastfeeding. Is that what it is? I, yes. I'm always breastfeeding. You look like you're um, breastfeeding, Julian. <laughs> no, maybe later. Uh, Stop! I'm wearing shorts. <laughs> <laughs> I did not dress for this. <laughs> well, you don't have kids, but what's like the worst baby story you've ever heard of that that's actually sort of scared you? I was away? a nanny. Oh. I was a nanny all through high, my high school, so it was really horrible. Um, I had a, it was horrible demon children, and uh, yeah, like I remember one time it was raining outside, and I was babysitting this kid named Nolan, and he was like, I want to play outside, and I was like, it's raining, and his mom's like, please, whatever he wants. Like, she was on so many pills, she was like, please, whatever, <laughs> whatever Nolan wants, Nolan gets. I was like, Jesus Christ, okay, so we go outside, and he's like, playing over there and I'm, you know, with the umbrella, like trying to fucking like keep the kids safe. So then he's like, come here, come here. And I'm like, what, what, why, I'm fine over here. I'm under the thing. He's like, no, come here. And I come over and then he fucking jumps in a mud puddle and splashes oh all the mud on me. And he's like, ha, ha, yeah. wow. And then I punted him and then I got fired. <laughs> Did you really kick that? him? No, but I wanted to. Let's I, bring I, out I, Nolan. <laughs> <laughs> Give it up for Nolan's here. But, no, no, not here, not here. He, not comes, here, out not in, here. he comes out in an orange jumpsuit. <laughs> <laughs> I've been waiting for this. He has, he has tattoos on his face. Yeah. When, when you were younger, did you know what you wanted to be? Because I remember I, I used to always want to be a comedian, and now 
I'm not really sure if it you know, worked out. <laughs> and um, now you're friends with a bunch. <laughs> I'm not with a bunch. I know a lot of them. I follow them on Twitter. Yeah, but did you know at an early age you wanted to be a comedian? I knew I wanted to be a writer of some kind and would write even before I knew how to write. Like, you know when you write, like, you practice your handwriting? I would practice it before I knew how to do it, so it would just be scribble, like, pages of scribble. Like, I just always like to write stuff. Like a serial yeah. killer, Morgan? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 I think I wanted to be, I, well, I wanted to be a serial killer, yeah. is what I wanted to be. And how's that going? Um, I'm still trying. <laughs> don't give up, Morgan. Like, I'm not up. going to, I'm not don't going to. Up. Julian, how about you? Did you always Wide know? receiver in the NFL. Oh, wow. what yeah. What happened? Too much drugs? Oh, I do. No. Uh, I, I couldn't have anticipated that that would be the reason I couldn't become a wide receiver. Uh, no, I just, I, I was like so scrawny in high school that I was like, there's no way that I could uh, catch up in time to like, you know, be a jock or whatever. And so I just like gave up and started smoking weed in my friend's basement. And that turned out to be a very sustainable plan. You know what I mean? Like, football, I would have retired in five years. I could still smoke pot in the basement. You know? yeah, that, I actually, like, I always thought I wanted to be a comedian. Then I remember when I was like 15, I learned how to play the beginning of the Space Hog song on bass. Yeah. Yeah. And I remember having a serious conversation with my mom being like, I'm not going to be a comedian. I'm going to be in Red Hot Chili Peppers. <laughs> And she was like, no, you should be a comedian. Well, I just yeah. like that as a kid, you get to cycle through things that you want to be like. I wanted to be like a soldier. I wanted to like do karate for a living. Wow. Mm -hmm. However wow. you do that. <laughs> you actually don't. Not be a karate teacher, just do karate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just walk around as a vigilante. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that you chose the band with the most insane bassist <laughs> to replace. So like, ridiculous. no one sounds like Flea. And you're like, I'm going to be that guy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to play Aeroplane. What about all you guys? Like, I'm going to be a Lawyer. I wanted to do karate. I'm like, I just wanted to be happy. I was like, this is horrible. <laughs> <Bad job. laughs> Talk about not sustainable. <laughs> uh, no, but it was. It was. I tried. I, I thought it was going to be a comedian. Then it moved to um, bass player for right. Red Hot Chili Peppers. Yeah. And then it quickly moved to rollerblader professional. Like I, oh, shit. I was, so it just a took a, a dark turn. Yeah, this is not a joke. That's not like a joke, I tried to go pro. I had a wheel sponsor. Oh um, my wow. God. So you were able to have all these dreams in between getting beat up constantly by all the other kids? <laughs> <laughs> and not having sex. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, well, it didn't matter because I was constantly falling on my balls. You were a sponsored inline skater? <laughs> yes, I wore Jinko jeans. Oh my God. God. I wore Jankos. I wore Jankos. Thank you. Which, by the way, the that's coolest the thing that you could be yeah. Yeah. when I was a kid was a, was a sponsored skater. Yeah. Of any kind. No, no, like, no. It did not get cooler. Oh, yeah, skater, I wanted to be a skater, skater not rollerblader. Yeah, yeah, but. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, okay, yeah, but then it became rollerblader. I think it's okay. It's okay. Thank it's you, not, Morgan. What you wanted wasn't awful. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. When we come back, we are meeting a child, and I'm very excited about it. Don't turn the internet. I'm Adam, and my favorite car is my parents' cars. Gentlemen, please welcome Adam. Yes. Adam, how's it going? Come on up. Thank God he saved a seat for me. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, we had no choice. You're, you're a guest on the show. I know it's much better than standing. <laughs> All right. So um, this is Brittany. Hi. Why do I feel like I want you to do my taxes? You just look like you're ready to... Is that anti-Semitic, Brittany? <laughs> this is Brittany, that's her shirt. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> this is Julian. Hi. Hi. This, this is, is Morgan. Going very well. I'm sorry to say this, but none of you look like comedians. Oh. I guess that's a good thing. That's yeah, actually a compliment. Because I don't ever want that to look like a comedian. That means we look successful. Yeah. <laughs> We look like we don't hate ourselves. Um, a comedian looks like me, I guess. I look like a okay. comedian. Oh, yeah. That's true. You, you actually do. Yeah, I know. Okay. <laughs> With like khakis, another, sneakers. He had, a, he had another gig today. He, he's he much more successful than us. He came from filming to this, right? Wow. Yeah, well, I was stuck in traffic and they, there was a sign that said, slow down, save a life. And here's what my dad suggested. It means like, Slow down, you're already going 12 miles. Slow down to 10 miles. I just 
hate the freeway systems, the toll roads. I mean, really? You make money off me driving? That's just crazy, do you? That's like being, that's pretty much being like rude to the businesses and the toll roads. You're saying, you have to pay to go shopping at the mall. I mean, why should I pay to go at the mall? If you ask me, they're being anti-business. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Seriously. He has, uh, he has Dennis Miller in IFB. Yeah. Can you hear him knocking, folks? He's coming in. Uh, Lewis Black's at home like, someone's taking my job. <laughs> anyway, we're all tired of infrastructure. <laughs> now, you clearly are going to be a comedian when you grow up. Is that your plan? I don't know. Here's my plan. Do a good job. Get, on, get like, something good and wait, represent wait, wait. the government of Zimbabwe. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Oh, wait, I need to, wait, the, the, the first thing you said, you, yeah. what'd you say after you, you want to do good? It's... I want to do good, make money, not live on the street. Oh, you didn't say that. No, you didn't no, say no. that. Hey. Hey. Before, Zimbabwe, for sure. Fine. Fine. Or the youngest child ever have a stroke. Fine. <laughs> Fine, I admit it. I want to represent the government of Zimbabwe on Shark Tank because they're making so much money off the line. If you ask me, the lion, Wait, are, you, are you Team Hunter? <laughs> are you against Cecil the Lion? <laughs> no. No, 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 no. He just hit you? He just hit you. No, his point is... He just hit me and he's for the lion killer. <laughs> Let's face it. How many of you knew of Zimbabwe before there was this Cecil the Lion drama? <laughs> drama? Drama? You haven't gotten there in school yet. <laughs> Hardly any of you knew You're it. supposed to find out next year. Yeah. <laughs> Something tells me you didn't cry during the lion. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's my point as, like, the government is involved. Yeah. Because they're to, looking to you. Sell, <laughs> sell it to Go on Shark Tank. I yeah. love Shark Tank. Sell it to That's a shark. <laughs> because you know what you could pitch? Hey, because of the line, people are going on our planes. Our airports are packed. Normally only one person went there. Now one. Now two people are going there. Our airports are packed. <laughs> Invest in us. You can buy our country. Ask the UN for approval, I mean. I like the idea. Wait, what? Wait just, so, just so we're clear, you are for the murderer of... You you like that the guy no, killed the no, lion? Yeah, he's saying it already happened. Stop crying about it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm not you gotta saying make that. the money now. That and it's also, happened. how old are you? What do you think? I'm gonna be ten in August. All right, what well, ten year old kid do you know likes a dentist? None of them. No, right, that's right. wait, right. actually, I, right. that's is that me. why you're is that why you're mad? That's me. Also, my grandpa's careful. a dentist. Now you're being oh, offensive oh, to my grandpa. You just insulted his grandfather. This yeah. is gonna get caught. I thought when I was a kid, I hated going to the dentist. You love it. You know, we were different. Well, yeah, I don't, I don't know why you think that. You seem like a normal kid. Let me continue. Killing a lion was wrong, but before... Good stance, good stance. Yeah. Killing a lion is wrong, but... But. But I have a but. You... <laughs> Here's my thing. I could... The lion was bad, but what if I'm an employee? I got fired. What am I going to say when I'm trying to get a new job? Um, excuse me, who was your former employer? Oh, um, can you like get a recommendation from him? I'm sorry, but my employer's kind of sort of hiding from getting indicted, getting into jail. So um, I'm sorry, but it's gonna be kind of um, hard. But you know what? I can give you. I have no boss. I'm sorry. He's like the lion killer. Adam, but, Adam, I, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I have no idea. But there's one lady. Adam, Wait. I just want to say, don't go to Zimbabwe unless you want to join their army. Wait, there's one perk. There's one perk about being there. At least they got fresh. At least they got fresh meat every day. Oh my God. We gotta change the topic. We gotta change the topic. I Real. think that's a lion joke. I am yeah. not anti-lion. I am not anti-lion. But he is. He is pro making dead lion jokes. <laughs> With that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, Where did you come from? <laughs> um, I came from like the LA Entertainment Arts District. <laughs> <laughs> well, I shouldn't have expected any less of an answer. It was my fault. Adam, thank mean? you so much. Yeah. You can go now, Adam. <laughs> you don't want me to end this segment, do you? Did what you read any to... other news stories this week? <laughs> yeah. Well, what is your take on Caitlyn Jenner? 
Oh god. Hey, oh my god. god. I want to, this is dangerous territory. Yeah. I want to Tell know when it's over. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I believe that the Jenners are crazy people. I mean, my sister watches Keeping Up with the Kardashians. Really, pretty much, if you ask me, it's all about money, divorces. I mean, did I like getting divorced? Is it their job? I mean, maybe the network's paying. That was pretty good. Here's what happens. <laughs> you spend a million dollars on a wedding, then he spends five million more on the divorce. I mean, it's like, Mary, um, a month later, I hate you. Mm -hmm. Period. Yeah. You just described riveting television. <laughs> <laughs> and Bruce Jenner, don't make, get me started on him. We he don't want no, no, We don't want it. Anyways, when we come back, he's doing some political comedy. Yeah. I am. Yeah. All right, now we have Adam Chernick doing some political stand up comedy. Okay, here's my take on our elections. One, I want to read Hillary Clinton's emails, see if there's anything interesting. Two, Donald Trump. Ooh, I mean, here, <laughs> him, that guy's pretty interesting. The only reason he's up in the polls is because he's crazy. I mean, what I'd like to do is I'd like to get a restraining order on him for ever having a Twitter, anything. It would really help his election. Uh. We have too many candidates, if you ask me. I mean, 14, here's my thinking. Probably, they can only pick one. I mean, the Democratic Party, only two. Two, Bert, one Bernie Sanders. He, I, have any, I don't even know what that guy looks like. <laughs> <laughs> Hillary Clinton, who is interesting by her emails. Also, here's my think on the world. Number one, world politics, nightmare. Number two, yes, North Korea, Kim Jong-il, big baby, human rights crime. <laughs> ISIS, you know what we could do? You know what I'd do? All right, Adam. Adam, everybody. Thank you so much, Adam. Thank you, Brittany, Julian, Morgan. I'm Dan Levy, that's Jensen Carp. Thank you for watching Baby Talk. Good night. Way to go, that was great. Hey everybody, thanks for watching Baby Talk. We asked that if you like the video that you just physically like it right now and also subscribe to our channel. Yes, and then share the video to all your friends and there's more stuff on Jash.com. Yeah, those are all things you should do.